Good morning, everybody. Today is game day. We play Miami FC tonight at home at seven o'clock. So today I'm just gonna show you my entire game day routine. But before I do that, I need to pick up because this house is a complete disaster right now. It's terrifying everywhere. So we're gonna pick up everything and then Mimi and I are gonna make, it's terrifying. <laughs> so Mimi and I are gonna make some breakfast. Okay, there we go. I feel like I have my life in order a little bit. Now that this place is all clean, I think it's the perfect time to introduce the sponsor of today's video, The Vitamin Shop. The Vitamin Shop believes that everyone is deserving of good health. I've actually shopped at The Vitamin Shop for years. I think the first time that I got one of their products was probably back in like high school, and I still continue to get a lot of my products through them. They actually sent me out a ton of amazing products from Optimum Nutrition to Isopure to BSN, even Amazing Grass. I thought what I would do is go through every single one of these products and kind of talk a little bit about them and also tell you when I would use them. So first we have Optimum Nutrition. Optimum Nutrition is all about supporting athletic performance through protein and nutrition products. From them we have the gold standard 100% whey protein in the double rich chocolate flavor and the essential amino energy pre-workout powder in the watermelon flavor. With 24 grams of protein per serving it focuses on muscle support and recovery i would typically have this once i'm all done for the day with my workouts and trainings or when i come back after a game like today i just have a serving of two of protein to kick start that muscle recovery the amino energy powder has caffeine from natural sources and also micronized free form amino acids which help get into the body quicker through faster absorption rates and is good to kick start muscle recovery even during your workouts both of these products are informed choice certified which means they regularly test for banned substances which is great for collegiate and professional athletes like myself. I would probably have the amino energy powder after my training session right before the workout because typically I get pretty tired and sleepy heading into the afternoon session. So this would be great for that second workout of the day. Next from Amazing Grass, we have the Greens Blend Superfood Powder, and we also have the Berry Greens Blend Superfood Powder. The Green Superfood Powder has your daily greens plus fruits and veggies to support health and wellness. It also has probiotics and enzymes to help aid with your digestion and absorption. The berry green powder is infused with antioxidant rich organic goji and acai berries. It also is just a great greens blend that helps support health and wellness and helps support a healthy immune system. Typically, I like to have my green superfood powder mixes first thing in the morning, either with breakfast, before breakfast, or if I forget, I have it after breakfast. Next, we have Isopure. Isopure is all about high quality sports nutrition. They sent out their zero carb, 100% whey protein isolate formula and the creamy vanilla flavor. Being a protein powder, the focus is around muscle growth and muscle recovery. Two scoops of this will contain 50 grams of protein from whey protein isolate and zero grams of sugar. Once again, I'd probably have this after my workouts, trainings, or games just to kickstart that muscle recovery. And then finally, we have BSN. They offer ultra premium proteins and supplements with a fully transparent label. They sent out their NO Explode pre-workout, which just gives you a ton of energy and focus for your workouts. Typically before training and before my workouts, I like coffee, but if that's unavailable, I would definitely have some pre-workout just to help me get a little bit of energy, help me focus, and help maximize performance in that second session for the day. So once again, all of these products are courtesy of the Vitamin Shop and shopping on their website is quick and easy, plus they offer in-store or curbside pickup. So if you guys are interested in any of these products, these are all currently 20% off. You can check all of these out, plus other great products from The Vitamin Shop by clicking the link in my description. Thank you once again to The Vitamin Shop for sponsoring this video. All right, what are we seeing in the coffee today? I'm seeing Squidward. Okay, here's breakfast. We have a banana, three eggs with some spinach, mushrooms, and some Cholula sauce, an orange, a cup of water, and then Mimi also made some biscuits, which I'll have with some jelly or some jam, uh, but they're still cooking. But here's breakfast. Here are Mimi's world famous southern biscuits. Is that what you call them? They're southern buttermilk butter flaky biscuits. Wow. Okay, taste test. Mimi's buttery, butter flaked southern biscuits. Mm. I give this a 4.5 out of 10. <laughs> Fuck off. So today, if I play in this game, if I make an appearance, which I'm in the starting lineup, so I should. I've seen players be in the starting lineup and then get injured in the warm-up or something. So 
I don't want to say for sure, but if I make an appearance in today's game, this will be my 99th USL regular season appearance, which is pretty cool. So then the next game is the 100, and you get like a little, little you don't get anything. <laughs> you get a little Instagram you post. post yeah. You get an Instagram post about it. But it's cool. It's kind of crazy to think about like 100 USL regular season games. I'm already over 100 games if you count playoffs and Open Cup and, and even you count Germany or New Zealand and stuff like that. But it is cool. It's a cool little milestone. So proud of myself. You proud of me? Nope. Okay. Today is May 21st. It's a Saturday. There's really not any Prem games on today. There's a lot of good games on tomorrow, but today don't have much. It's too early for any MLS or USL games. So I am just going to show you what I do when there's no games on and I want to watch a full match on game day. It's very, very simple, but I, I just Google or I just YouTube. I just search into YouTube full match of a team that I'm interested in and that's pretty much it. So this is how simple it is. I just typed in Manchester United full game. We have almost every FA Cup match from this season with Man U. We have a Premier League match, Manchester City versus Manchester United from 2018. And then here's all highlights. Here's a Man U game from 2008, 2009 when they played Chelsea. So, I mean, there's just tons. I mean, FA Cup, it looks like they put every single match on here, but there's just tons of games to choose from. I'm also really weird with the teams and stuff that I choose to watch, the games that I choose to watch, even the fullbacks that I choose to study. Like, I like to pick not the obvious choice a lot of times because, you know, instead of always watching Cancelo or Kyle Walker from Manchester City where they're winning every single game and they have 75% of the ball and they're whipping in 10 crosses a game, that's not always how life works. You know, sometimes you're in the team that has 40% possession and you're basically in your own half most of the game. So I like to watch a variety. Like I'll randomly watch Burnley play Leicester City and I'll watch the Burnley and I'll watch the fullbacks there just to see how they play and how they react to being more of the underdog. So it's not always just watching the best players in the world kind of dominate. I like to watch a variety of different situations. Like today, I think I'll watch this one. I'll watch Man U play Aston Villa from this year, from this season, the third round of the FA Cup. Final game of this third round. Michael Oliver, very experienced referee though, still one of the younger ones on the Premier Here's my lunch. Like I said, I like to keep it pretty simple. It's actually a little bit more. I probably won't even finish all this, but this is just chicken, mushrooms, uh, cabbage, and a little bit of broccoli with brown rice. I'm gonna throw a little extra salt on there, and then I just have a cup of water, and I'm still just watching this Manchester United Aston Villa game. So this is what I'm doing for lunch right now. I have about 30 minutes before I need to start getting ready. So this is like the time where I kind of like to get my mind away from football. Usually it's like before the nap, during the nap and after the nap, usually have a longer time period. But like I said, today's a little bit different. Um, so yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm watching Parks and Rec right now, hanging out. 4.15 in the afternoon, which means it's time to start getting ready, getting freshened up, take my shower, get all dressed. So basically I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna shave a little bit, shave the neck, shave my uh, cheeks, like shave up the, <laughs> shave my cheeks. I'm gonna trim up the beard. And then basically I just put on our game day polo jeans and uh, get ready to go. Exactly 4.30 in the afternoon right now. I'm all freshened up. I'll show you what we have to wear. We have to wear our white Hummel polo, cross the battery from Hummel polo, we have to wear jeans, and we have to look semi-decent. So this is me looking semi-decent. I'm gonna leave here at 4.50, which means I have about 20 minutes just to chill. I am obsessed with being early. I even give myself like a 20 minute buffer. Like I should be getting at the stadium at like 5.10, but we don't have to be there until 5.30. But it gives me like a ton of anxiety if I'm late, if I'm even close. Like if I'm like five minutes early, I'm feeling like, oh no, something could go wrong and I'll be late. So I hate it. I like to leave early. I like to get ready early, especially on game days because I don't want any more problems, anxiety, anything else coming up. Okay, so there we go. That's pretty much it for my game day routine. That's pretty much all the stuff that I like to do throughout the whole day. The only other thing that I can think of is just in the locker room, I like to do my full activation routine, which pretty much consists of like 10 minutes in a hot tub, 
10 minutes foam rolling my entire body and 10 minutes of just little light exercises, like one set of 10 reps, um, just with the band or body weight to warm up the hips, glutes, quads, hamstrings, groins, calves, feet, all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much it. I'll show a little bit in the locker room, but I'm not gonna show that full activation routine or anything just because I kind of see bringing a camera into the locker room on game day as a little bit of a distraction. And even though I always feel like all the guys are gonna be okay with it, I just, for my own thing, I kind of want to separate being a YouTuber and being a pro. So. Sorry about that, but that's just kind of like, that's just what I do. If you want to see my full routine though, I do have a video on exactly what I do, which I'll link in the description. That's my entire routine, so be sure to check that out. But other than that, it's time to go. in the all blue from right to left. Charleston in there, yellow and black from left to right. And Elton Garcia gets us underway here in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. There's Anthony Pulis in the white. Plenty of experience in this league previously. St. Louis and on to MLS as an assistant for some time with Inter Miami. He stays in Miami, this time with Miami FC. Reed slots it through to Ba. Ba scores! They love to use the outside backs. And Othello Ba gets his first goal of the season, five minutes in. And made them pay. Othello Ba stayed with this organization in the move from Nisa. Preston Kilwine leads it on back for Brett St. Martin. This may be the concerted effort from Charleston to see more of the ball than they have been, but they give it away in a dangerous spot. Velo puts the head down, strikes it, and scores! Florian Velo. What a way to get your first goal of the season. And possibly concede more goals before halftime. Parks. Back for Parks! Kuzmenski got a boot to it, otherwise it would have been another one before halftime. Velo picks up the head. Picks up the pace as well, into Othello Ba, flag stays down, Ba doubles his tally! Miami FC find himself 3-0 in the lead after 30 minutes. So often you'll see a chip from further out, obviously, and then the question is, will it get under the ball? And lose possession and transition into defense. Walker, plays it in for Romeo Parks, and it's a walk in the park right now for Miami. Charleston do win the first ball, but it just drops down to Miami FC player and just a, a beautiful lay through pass. Where you like to see that from a team. He's your leader, he's your captain. That ball was about 12 yards wayward, but he hustled to it. Didn't have a reason to outside of still playing with pride and trying to keep things alive here. Yeah, Sheldon's had a, a tough night tonight because Barr's been a... And bad to worse, DZ Harmon, a careless tackle, picks up a second yellow. And now he's gonna have to be careful with the remainder of the game. And again, this is, mm, you know, hard to see from this angle how much contact there is but he does arrive a little bit late. It's not necessarily the world, most well-timed tackle. There's probably a little bit of play acting also given the, to see more Miami FC changes shortly. Sheldon has numbers forward. Shoots it himself, Sparrow the save at the near post. Nice left foot strike there, had the goalkeeper worried. Some good individual play here, takes it on his right, has everybody full, cuts into his left, and that, that's a decent strike from that distance, low and hard. Don't stick the obvious. <laughs> <laughs> There's the final whistle tonight from Patriots Point. A master class from Miami FC. Dominant from the jump and a 4-0 win. Miami. That was a that was another very frustrating game in what's been a very frustrating season so far. Um, I think that was my worst performance of the year as well. I think one or two of those goals were directly my fault, which which just does not feel good. Um, but I mean, as always, it's just the same thing. It's you watch film, you you learn from it, you keep on developing, you keep on moving on. 
and then 24 hours from now you just move on and you directly focus on the next game which is uh, Loudon um, but yeah very very frustrating it's tough to put like a like pinpoint the problem and we've been experimenting and trying a lot of different things and just it just hasn't been working So, like I said, with the uh, with the protein, I'm gonna have one or two scoops right now, just uh, to kickstart that muscle recovery and uh, and growth from after the game. So I'm just gonna do two scoops into here, just mix with water. I already had a little team dinner after the game. Um, already hydrated a ton, had some water and everything, but. I want to have this as well. It's, I was talking to Mimi, I was talking with my family after the game as well. It's kind of funny, like, you grow up and you kind of envision yourself as like a professional footballer and you're always envisioning winning. Like, you're always envisioning being top of the table. And the reality is that, you know, all the professionals, I mean, if you think about the prep, like half of the Premier League teams out there, half of those professionals, they, they're having a, a, a losing season. And it's just weird that it's something that you're not thinking of as, as a kid. When you're thinking about a professional, you're just thinking that you know you'll have the losses, but you'll be in a winning season, and it's just really, really tough um, to be at the bottom of the table, and it's just something that you know many, many professionals go through. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. There's always going to be somebody at the bottom of the table, and many times as a pro, you're going to have to go through that, and it's tough. And it's just another character building thing, and you know the season so far has been tough, but hopefully you can turn it around. But yeah, it's just, just a little thought that I had. It's just funny. You're always kind of imagining yourself as being, you know, one of the better players, one of the better teams in the league, and that's not always the reality of everything. So hopefully we can turn things around though. And if we can't, then hopefully next season we can turn things around. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I'm gonna finish uh, this little protein shake. I think what is this? 50 grams of protein in here right now, probably. Probably. I'm gonna drink this and then go to bed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.